Okay. So, seven minutes. I told them, and they don't believe me. I told them I'm going to preach a message in seven minutes. And they're like, that's impossible, Pastor. I'm going to take five. <laughs> yeah, type it. So, this morning's message is entitled, Jesus is the reason for the season. Now, we all get excited, you know, when Advent is coming up. Because we know Advent is leading to what? Christmas! Yeah, so I love it too. So this is good, right? And we should be excited about Christmas. But we need to remember that it is Christ Mass. Huh? What is pastor saying there? Going off the deep end? No. Christmas is a mass celebration of Christ's birth. That's why it's called Christmas, you know. It's Christ Mass. That's what really the word was derived from. A Christ Mass celebration of his birth. So we need to keep Jesus in the season. I say this because many people get caught up in Christmas, but there is no Christ in the last. <laughs> Everything else comes up and we change it. Now we start saying, Merry Xmas. Will be taken out. Christ out of the mass. Can you believe it? This holiday was invented for him, this celebration, but now we're having the celebration without the main attraction. That doesn't make any sense. So we are now saying, Merry Xmas, Xmas to everybody. We sign our cards with a little XX and stuff like that. So we have now taken Jesus out of the season. Now, I love all the traditions, I love the lights, I love the presents, but I constantly remind myself that the birth of Jesus is the main event. Because if we don't, we get distracted and we forget, we forget the reason why Jesus came. Because if there was no Jesus' birth, think about this, then there would be no death on the cross. Oh. If there's no death on the cross, that means there's no salvation for humanity. Uh-oh. If there's no salvation for humanity, that means there's no forgiveness of our sins. Uh-oh. Going down a slippery soap. No forgiveness of our sins means everyone is condemned to an eternity, to that place that we don't want to mention. Wow. So if there was no birth, then there would be nothing else. It all begins with the birth. So this Christmas, right? Celebrate Christ's birthday firstly. Tell him happy birthday. It's not crazy to say happy birthday. Yeah, we don't sure it's the 25th, no problem. But we took a day. So celebrate that day, right? Thank God the Father for sending his son to be born in human form. Right? That he could die for us. Tell the children the real meaning of Christmas. Ain't nothing wrong with Santa Claus either. But let them know Santa Claus is down on the hierarchy. You know Jesus at the top. You get what I'm saying? So let the kids know. Tell them the birth. And tell anyone else you can tell how important it is of Jesus' birth. So for this mass celebration of Christ's birthday, or in short, Christmas. Make sure you make Jesus the reason for the season. Five minutes? Okay. <laughs> See, I told you it could be done. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God and most righteous Father, we just want to say thank you, dear God. We're thankful for your word. Dear God, we don't have to be long to magnify your name. We can take five minutes out of our time and give you the praise you deserve. We just want to make sure that this Christmas, you are the reason for the season. Help us not to get distracted by everything else that is around us. Help us just to first magnify your birth and then let everything else come after. So we thank you 
and we praise you, dear God. And we ask that you just take full control of the rest of this service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. We're going to have a